And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and this is a bit of a longer episode than what I typically do, but I want you to understand how all the pieces of this puzzle fit together, so hopefully you'll stick with me. Because today I wanted to detail for you exactly how niacin, also known as vitamin B3, dramatically slows the aging process. I've said for many years that if ever there was a single nutrient that could legitimately be called the fountain of youth, it is certainly niacin. And I'm going to tell you right at the beginning here that the best results with niacin, especially for the purpose of longevity, are seen with consistent ongoing use. So start low, like around 25 to 100 milligrams, especially if you're sensitive to most things, and maybe try taking some niacin a few times each day, especially when you eat a meal. Original flushing niacin is already well known as the best natural compound for boosting HDL cholesterol, or high-density lipoprotein cholesterol, commonly referred to as the good cholesterol. As we know, cholesterol has been horribly misunderstood and deliberately misrepresented for far too long. As one example of this, just look at how doctors still relentlessly promote the widespread and continued use of statin drugs even though any supposed benefits of statins have been thoroughly discredited by their horrendous and literally degrading side effects. Cholesterol is in fact essential for muscle and brain vitality and also immune function, and niacin optimizes our body's production of cholesterol. What we think of as bad cholesterol, known as LDL, or low-density lipoprotein, is better defined as oxidized cholesterol. And this is the type of cholesterol we see associated with the accumulation of plaque in the arteries. Unfortunately, LDL cholesterol is often billboarded to represent all cholesterol. This oxidized cholesterol is highly inflammatory, while the protective HDL cholesterol, which niacin optimizes, is a powerful anti-inflammatory that is essential for scar tissue development, wound repair, and overall healing. The body naturally elevates cholesterol levels in response to any kind of tissue damage and or an unwelcome invader like a virus. This is why I've told you before to think of cholesterol as an internal repair mechanism for the body, and again, niacin optimizes that repair mechanism. One problematic thing that many people have and don't even know about is glycation, which is the bonding of sugar and protein which shrivels the arteries over time and degrades the natural flexibility of their collagen-dominant composition. Glycation is a gradual result of our overconsumption of sugar and refined carbohydrates. This is particularly problematic for the capillaries, which are our smallest blood vessels, but if untreated, glycation can also contribute to a condition known as anoxemia, in which our arteries don't receive adequate oxygen. Glycation's choking of the arteries is a major culprit in the gradual development of wrinkles and the deposition of arterial plaque. By optimizing cholesterol, again what we think of as the good cholesterol, niacin reduces the development of oxidized cholesterol and consequently arterial plaque. This is even easier to accomplish when we abandon inflammatory foods like processed food and alcohol. Niacin also completely restores the interior lining of the blood vessels, known as the intima, and also restores angiogenesis, which is the body's natural creation of new blood vessels from older damaged ones. These factors alone provide potent defense against heart disease, which is still today trumpeted as a primary threat to older people. Heart disease is an umbrella term for several conditions, especially coronary artery disease, that are primarily concerned with an impaired blood flow to the heart something that can certainly happen if your arteries and capillaries are corroded with glycation and not receiving proper restorative maintenance. Can you see how all of this fits together? How all of this contributes to and greatly accelerates the aging process? And more importantly, are you beginning to see how niacin can guard against the runaway inflammation at the center of many of these destructive processes? Niacin, as you know, is the primary precursor for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, also known as NAD. And NAD is the fuel for the metabolic proteins called sirtuins, 
that repair DNA, mitochondria, and telomeres. And this NAD-backed restoration is itself central to slowing the aging process to a crawl. Another way to express that, of course, is to say that a deficiency of NAD can and will accelerate aging dramatically. And there are countless challenges we face every day that tax and drain our NAD. Our high-stress lifestyle, abundantly inflammatory diet, environmental toxins, smoking, alcohol, and deficiency of cholesterol because of constant statin use are just some of them. The more damage you have in the body, the more NAD you're going to need to repair it. So it's worth repeating here that niacin is the primary precursor to NAD, and optimizing NAD is what niacin is utilized for first. Maintaining a robust immune system is also essential to longevity, and as I've told you before, niacin naturally elevates some of our key white blood cells, like basophils and neutrophils. These are critical for defending the body against parasites, fungus, and also viruses. Our basophils in particular naturally contain heparin, a compound essential for wound repair and also avoiding blood clots. Niacin also decimates triglyceride levels and also levels of the inflammatory markers C-reactive protein and lipoprotein A. High levels of lipoprotein A in particular are a major risk factor for heart disease. Niacin also guards against valerian degeneration or the breakdown of a nerve axon that can result after a heart attack, tumor, or head injury. Flushing niacin is still the best form for achieving all these goals, and thankfully, original flushing niacin is still the cheapest form of niacin you can find. The niacin flush can last for around an hour, although if you start low and take your niacin with a full meal, you likely won't feel the flush very much. And after one or two weeks of taking the same dose, you'll grow accustomed to it and will no longer flush at that dose. So hopefully now you can see the whole picture of how and why niacin, specifically original flushing niacin, slows the aging process as part of a daily regimen that also includes regular exercise and a diet that deliberately avoids sugar and processed foods. Why turn back time when you can burn back time? Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.